What's going on you guys? Cameron here with another video. So today we are going to be going over how to search a portal with a search field automatically as you're typing. So as you're typing like the letter C, the, the fields within that portal, the records within that portal will automatically start searching as soon as you start typing within a search field. So if you look at the screen here, um, this will be this is the example file here. So if we start typing CAM, you notice that the database is actually already starting to search as soon as we make uh, we as soon as we type a letter, type B, type W. Uh, so this search will go across any letters, any names throughout the entire full name. So you can notice here that uh, the the first record starts with W, but the second record the, the last name starts with W. So this it's a it's a broad range search field. So this is how this is what we're gonna be building. So please stay tuned to the rest of the video and learn how to do this. Thanks guys. Alright guys, so we're gonna jump in here now and what I've done is I have removed that search field. Basically all I'm doing for a search field is um, under the table that I'm in, we are going to be creating some type of global field. Uh, the reason why you want a global field is because you kind of want to think ahead. Like if you're, if this is your only database, if you're going to be the only person using this database on a local machine and not on a server with multiple uh, employees connecting to it, then um, it, it's not that critical. But if you have multiple users and you have multiple employees uh, going onto the database and possibly going to be using the search field at the exact same time, you need to create a global field. Global fields are by the user so the global so you have to create a global search field this is the field that people are going to jump into and start typing a name or whatever you want to search in that search field and that's what's going to filter the portal so in order to do that we need some type of search field for my global fields i put a, a, a put i put a lowercase g underscore and then whatever the search field is for so right now in this table, I have G underscore search contacts portal. And then within this uh, field, you got to go to storage and you have to make sure the use store, the global storage is checked. This is one value for all records per user that's logged in. Click OK, click OK. And all we got to do here is just drag and drop this uh, search field onto the layout. I'm going to get rid of the uh, label here. Position this nicely, and then what I like to do when you don't have uh, a label for a field, it's best to put the label for the field within the field, like a placeholder text. And a rule of thumb for uh, user interface design: a little quick tip here. Uh, most search fields only say search. Don't say search for contacts. Don't search by contacts. Just you just need search. Most people and most everyday people are gravitated towards the word a search they just want to see a search field so my search my placement text for search fields is just search now in order for this to work we got to start searching the records within this current layout that we're on basically all i'm doing right now is showcasing a uh, a layout for my table contacts and this portal is just showing the current table contacts so what we need to do now is that when we type in this field, we need to filter this out. This is pretty easy to do considering that we're on the layout for the contacts already. So all we gotta do is go to Shift Command S. We're gonna go into our uh, script editor here and you're going to see that I already have this typed out but we are gonna jump in here and uh, create the same exact script again with you guys. So we're gonna add a new script. I'm gonna call this search portal on video with you guys so what we need to do is in order for us to know what we're searching we got to save what we've already typed and one way to do that is with a variable so in FileMaker we type dollar sign our variables are dollar sign I don't know what's going on with my keyboard here here we go nope So we're going to set my keyboard was sticking there and we're going to set variable I'm sorry set variable we're going to jump in that variable the variable name we're just going to say search field 
And the value of this search field is going to be the value of that field name that we've created, which was my global search contacts portal. Click OK, click OK. Now, once we know what we're searching, now we need to go find and make that search with that new variable. Uh, every time you're doing a search, you want to make sure you're setting an error capture because you want you want the user to be notified of an error. But in this case, we don't really need the error to show because uh, there won't really be any errors. I mean, we can show dialog boxes saying there is no records found, but uh, for user interface interaction, uh, user interface interactions, you don't really need that for a search because we know if something worked or not. So uh, we don't want the user to know when something was not found. So we're just going to set error capture on so that uh, FileMaker is capturing that error, but we're not being notified of that error. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to perform a find. And we're going to create a new find. And basically, this is your choice on what you want to search by. Do you want to search by the full name or do you want to search by the first name only? Do you want to search by the last name only? Uh, typically, for something like this, a contact, you're going to search the full entire name. So I have the C full name, first name. A field that I've created in my database selected and the criteria is just our um, our variable we're searching the variable that we've saved in the beginning of the script so I'm just gonna type out here search field which is our variable name I'm gonna click add click OK click OK now what we've done so far will work for searching a name what it won't do though is it won't show us all all records currently in the database when that field is empty so we need to kind of tell the software saying hey show all records when this field is uh, is empty so we need to create some if statements here so if my variable search field is equal to double quotations and file makers means it's an empty field there's nothing there just like quotations, you can think of that as the quotations hold text. So if you have quotations and there's nothing in between quotations, there will be nothing there. So FileMaker knows that you're searching for nothing. So if the search field equals nothing, then we want to show all records. And then else, if we don't, if that search field is not empty, then we want to perform the find. I'm going to set the error capture uh, at the very beginning. It doesn't really matter where that's at. It just needs to be before the search itself. So, I mean, it could be, it could, it could be right here or it could just be right up here. I'm just gonna, I like to keep my set error capture uh, towards the top. Uh, one other thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we go, we need to go back to the field that we were at so that as we're typing, we're always jumping back to that field after the search has been completed. And the field that we want to go to is the search contacts portal. So I'm going to save this script here. I'm going to exit out of the script editor with this, uh, the, the global search contacts portal field. I'm going to set a script trigger. And I'm going to do the on object modify and I'm going to select the new script that we just made. So now we can test the results and see what we get as I type J O H N. We're getting stuff there. West. Good. Cameron. Good. This is all working pretty well. Perfect. So this is a quick, easy way of how to filter down a portals list based off a search field. Uh, and you can change it around as far as what you want to search by. Do you want to search just the first name? Do you want to search the last name? Do you want to search the whole name? Do you want to search by uh, the job title? You can change all those parameters based off of what you're trying to make in your app just with a simple script. Now, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is a brand new channel for us and we look to take this to the next level 
uh, as FileMaker grows, we want to grow with it. So uh, please like, destroy the like button. I can't stress enough. Please destroy the like button. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And please comment any idea videos that you would like to see in the near future. Thanks, guys.